be opposed to using uh, criminal laws to gag, you know, or stifle free speech. Uh, the reason why this case was instituted by Nedowoko in the first place was because we opposed his using the same method to harass uh, a, an influencer on Instagram known as Jaruma. Uh, and uh, he took offense at that uh, and uh, decided to get me arrested. And when I was arrested, I told the police uh, there is no law uh, known to man that says that I cannot assist somebody who is. Uh, who's been gagged to get out so and as a result i refused to write a statement in the police station i asked them to detain me they couldn't detain me they released me eventually when uh, they couldn't get away with that they arrested our lawyer it's, you know uh, marshal abubaka who works with uh, femi falan and detained him for days before he got out so this is uh, to just remind nigerians i will continue to do the job that is necessary uh, to the uh, to the credit of the judge, he granted us a long adjournment last time so that we could attend to the elections. Yeah. And the elections are over, or the selections are over now. And uh, they have selected another, <laughs> another president uh, for Nigeria. These are part of the reason why we get prosecuted and persecuted all the time by the political class. It's because we don't agree with their method of doing things that do not work for the Nigerian citizenry. So, uh, we'll be back in June, and I also always constantly remind those of you who follow me to court that uh, we have several of these cases. Some of them civil criminal. I see how the treason charge, my passport is this is after four years in Nigeria. Uh, I also uh, just recently been sued by, I think my 14 lawsuit for libel was instituted by Akayo um, Defy Emi uh, very recently. So. The IG of police, former IG, sued me. The Attorney General of uh, the federal government, uh, Malami, I hope I'm going, uh, also sued me. There are several of these lawsuits. But we will continue to protect the rights of Nigerian citizens to freely speak their mind on issues affecting them. And that's, that's why Nigeria needs more than anything at this time, because we have been debased over time. And this is uh, a very terrible regime. Uh, held by Buhari uh, will be living according to him and he was apologizing last week for the crimes he committed against Nigerian people. My response is that uh, his crimes are beyond apology. He must pay for them and this is what I've always said since I came back to Nigeria and I've been detained uh, permanently here for the last four years that all this will come to pass and we will be in an era where we can boast and brag and uh, Tom Bash says that we did our best yeah. uh, within the circumstances that uh, we found ourselves to ensure that this country continues to enjoy and revolution um, is coming. You know, they, they will not expect it when it will hit. And that's what I've always said, I predicted it and some of it are happening, but we are not yet out. You know, uh, we are just moving from uh, Fry pan now to the bottom of uh, another face of it. another face of it for to the bottom of another fire, you know, and this one might actually be real hell fire such that in the next uh, four years oh, people yes. people might be saying that Buhari was a better <laughs> human being. Can you imagine that? So and uh, to those of our friends in law enforcement, you have seen now how pure your activities are, you know. So those of you who have been used constantly to harass insult and assault fundamental freedoms of others. Some of you are not taking your salaries. Some of you are no longer safe in this country. And some of you are going to retire without benefits. You know that. It's just, it's just a matter of time. All of you will regret what you did against uh, people like us who are unjustly persecuted. But it's our country and uh, we have nowhere else to go. I don't have a Guinean passport. I don't have uh, a password for Sudan or any of this, uh, or Niger, where Buhari said he will run away to. I only have a Nigerian hey, passport, and it's been it's been detained here at the Federal High Court. So, guys, uh, thank you once again uh, for following us and uh, for supporting. Uh, we will be liberated no matter how long it takes, uh, and I can assure you of that. Thank you, Revolution.